I did a class the other day called From 3D to 9D and the D's for dimensions, yeah? Most people know about the three-dimensional world. And I'm saying that you can go from 3D to 9D. And when we say 9D, I'm dealing with 9 ether, right? 9 ether. When you look at the number 3 and you have the main mathematical properties or functions that people are familiar with would be like, let's say you have 3 minus 3 gives you, what, 0, yeah? Now, that's one of them, yeah, minus 3 divided by 3 gives you 1. 3 plus 3 gives you 6. Now, 3 times 3 gives you 9. So, of the basic mathematical properties or functions, uh, minus, divide, plus, and times, you see that the one that gives you the highest is 3 times 3. Because when you look at the number 3, or when you look at anything, you have the, the scene. So this will be the scene 3. And then there's a, another 3, which we we'll say is unseen. Right? Because you always have to have the duality of you know, one side and the other. So people will say the scene is spiritual, right? Or the spiritual. And then this would be, sorry, the other way, the unseen is spiritual. And then the spiritual, spirit, or the physical, sorry. The physical, forget that. Right? The physical is the scene, right? So you've got two words. So that's why you have two threes. But as I said, when you take the 3 and you go 3 minus 3 is 0, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 levels of 3, so even if you had like 3 as in 1, 2, 3, that each one of those will have a counterpart. So you always have a counterpart, yeah? So when we say duality, so you have a counterpart. So that's each one of those has another one of itself. So that's why that will give you 9, yeah? So, when you look at everything where, let's say this is you, here, or anything, right, you start off with a point, you go that way, you, let's say in the number system, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then after that, there's no more numbers because when you start saying 10, you're just taking 1 and a, a 0, because we start from 0 to give you the 10, 1 and 1 gives you 11, 1 and 2 gives you the 12 going that way. And you can do the same going this way to give you minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, going that way to minus 9. But when you get to the 9, we say 9 to the 9 power of 9, which is, they say, infinity. So the three points, there's always three points. So that's you in the middle, and there's going to the left, or going to the right. And when you start to look at 3D, 3D is everything that we're stuck in the three-dimensional world. So we say people, places, and things, right? One, two, three, A, B, C, morning, afternoon, night, breakfast, lunch, supper. And this can go on and on and on and on and on and on, black, white, grey. So most people are actually stuck in the three-dimensional world. But remember that the three, you deal with duality, yeah? So... Um, but the duality starts from one, left, right, up, down. This is what we've drawn here, yeah? We've got, this is you in the middle, so we can go um, left, right, up, down, and then obviously side to side, 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 or diagonal, and then, but that's you always there. Now, when you count up these points, you have nine, yeah? So if you look at yourself, up, down, left, right, and then in, out. This is represented by this. But like I said, when you're looking at the three, you're going three levels of three, which gives you 9D. Because remember, the dimensions are mental. So whatever you can put into your mind, you can think. So we have different realms going all the way to nine. But when we say nine, you have to think 
9 to the 9th power of 9, just like we're saying 3, you know, 3 times 3 gives you 9. So coming from a 3D mindset is that mentally you can actually break this 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, up, down, um, black, you know, as I said before, like morning, afternoon, night, because everyone is trapped on the three dimensions. So this is why the, the religions kind of trap you on the, the number three, which is three main characters. There's you, there's God, and there's the devil. When, you, when I say you, we're dealing with humanity, yeah? Why is everything just stopping you on this three dimensional world? Because the extraterrestrials that want you to be limited in terms of discovering your abilities keep you in a three-dimensional world and to break out of that three-dimensional world you have to like raise your mind and you raise your mind your mentality by the information or the affirmation that you study this is what Wu Sabat does so when you look at this scroll for example called intelligent design divine design or plot of aliens it's showing you you can see there the DNA strand which deals with the genome and you look at this diagram, which I tried to draw over there, is showing you how this planet is controlled by extraterrestrials that try to keep you in a 3D world, right? Because if you looked at a square like that, you literally don't see the other sides. But when you put another square, if we made it into a cube, you start to see that there are other sides. That's, that's what people look at as 3D. But as you said, if you look at it um, like the way it's there, you can see that as a cube, where you just had originally just one face, because in, in um, mathematics and shapes, they tell you that like this is a face, the flat surface here, yeah, that's one face. But when you look at it this way, you can see that you have a face here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see all the faces. And then you have the different sides, which are the lines. Yeah, but now when we're moving from 3D, sorry, I'm scribbling all over the place, but I hope you're making it's making sense. But when we're moving from this to the next level now, you start to stack. Yeah, you stack that cube. Remember, as I said, that's one, but there's another counterpart. But now when we've got a cube, we start to stack the cubes. Yeah. Now, when we're stacking the cube on top of each other, you're now seeing different dimensions, yeah? So if we kept going, we stack another cube there. Now that keeps going. Can you imagine if we stacked, right, many, many cubes in either direction, you start to see more levels, just like the pyramids, yeah? We might have to come over here, right? So like the pyramids, you've got a point here. You've got a point here. The middle point, if you take it up, you've just moved it from where I had it here just raised it up and put it here. Now you've got the pyramid, but again, or what people might call a triangle, yeah? But again, you're just seeing one of it. Um, but when you then look at it like where you make it into the tetrahedron, you start to see that in the middle you can go into different dimensions. Now we do the same thing as we did with the cube and then make that go up because most people don't realize the way the pyramids are built as above yeah as above so below yeah so then you start to get this kind of diamond shape but if we carried on stacking these pyramids as well like up down up down and you can go on and on and on and on yeah what you start to see is the double helix that's emerging yeah as we've got here you can see it right there and then in between you'll have the what they're called the staircases yeah or the ACGT right this is what gives you the codes that programs your genes so these extraterrestrials were able to limit your ability by keeping you stuck in the three-dimensional world where you can't think outside of that. But what Wu Sabat does, it gives you the nine ether, or the nine to the nine power of nine, which is unlimited because even when you look at like the speed of light, speed will travel 
at a speed, but it's within the darkness. So if you look at here, for example, you look at all of these millions and millions and billions of stars, they're all still surrounded by darkness. And so when you look at our symbols, you will always see like, you see two pyramids here. And when you put those two pyramids together, you see, you get the six pointed star, as you can see there, as some people look at it, but it's really two pyramids coming together. And you look at every religion, yeah, whether it's Islam, Christianity or Judaism, you always see the, the, the six pointed star. But if you look carefully, these are actually separate, these are actually separate triangles by themselves. Again. And if you count them, you can see, you know, three, 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 giving you that number nine. So what I'm saying is from three dimension to nine dimension is about raising your vibration and studying nine mind doctrine, nine ether, ninth to the ninth power of nine. This is what we're about. Is this is how no one can really take you beyond that nine ether because even though, as I was saying, light's traveling at the speed of light, it's still surrounded by ether. Everything is, the, the way, the reason the speed of light is limited to that, you know, 186,272 feet per second is because ether limits the speed to that. So we're teaching you how you can go from three dimension to nine dimension. That means that you get your powers back in terms of, right, remember the senses, you're told you have, five senses, but it's really one, which is touch or perception, right? And then if you look at the other ones where they say, um, you know, you're, you're, you're seeing, to see, to smell, yeah, to taste, and then um, to hear, right? You get one, two, three, four. But all of these are really the one, which is touch or perception, and that they say that's five, but really all of them deal with one. Now, the reason they say these are five is because, going back to the nine ether again, you have the other four, yeah, that are missed out, which is, um, we always say, intuition, telepathy, psychometry, and clairvoyance. Those are the four, add together, will give you the nine again. And this is the nine, power that we're trying to raise you to with Wusabat so that you're starting to use your abilities, like your psychic abilities, use your telepathy, use your psychometry, the ab ability to just read, object reading, use your ability to communicate from mind to mind. When you're dealing with people that are stuck on a three-dimensional world, it's kind of like you're in f not even 1080, right? You're in 4K video and they're still in black and white using like some old technology because extraterrestrials, they're dealing with the highest form of information. And this is why they can use their technology to basically be more advanced and keep you subdued. And this scroll goes into intelligent because when you're saying intelligent, you're really saying intel in the genetics or the genes. And this is how they've messed about with our DNA, with your genes by removing certain or different codes that they've programmed yeah you know look check out the ac acgt yeah these are the codes that they use to program you to function and do certain things so i'm going to be doing a second part of the class called from 3d to 9d how you can move from you know the three-dimensional world that keeps you stuck to raise yourself to be able to basically be limitless and do anything like the movie Limitless, if you haven't seen that already. So yeah, just wanted to kind of break down that, what I mean by from 3D to 9D, go from this monotheistic world of three religions, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, the main ones, that keeps you in one, two, three, because that 3D world limits you, but you want to be a 9D being, which is taking you to no limit from nine to the nine power of nine. Because you just when you get to that, it's just nine, 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 nine. And they say you can't get any further than that because that's infinity. So yeah, tune into that class from 3D to 9D. Look out for it. We're gonna promote it and um, 
you, you can tune in and ask your questions on the Ask Us Anything channel, OSM Vision. All right, stay tuned. Right, so when you have moved from 3D to 9D, it's like everything is different and how you deal with people and the world is different because you think in 9D, you see in 9D, you're hearing in 9D. Even when you taste things, you're doing it in 9D. So you start to know that this is not what they're telling me it is. It does not taste like anything. Your taste buds are completely different. So you feel in 9D. So then when you're communicating and trying to deal with people who are operating on 3D, they can't get you. It's like you're in a different world to them completely. And this is where people are saying you're conscious or you're not. You're awake or you're not. You know, you're alive or you're not. You're with Wusabat or you're not. You know, it's just like there are just two sides that is very clear. Those who are still operating on a three-dimensional world and those who are elevating or vibrating much, much higher. So if you took a cube, as I have demonstrated, which most people will see as 3D, but when you start to stack it, say if you put three of them together, I mean, you can go to the you know, ninth to the ninth power of nine, stacking them up to the left, to the right, diagonally, basically everywhere, you will start to see that picture of being in a nine-dimensional world. And so myself, I've always felt that when I'm trying to communicate the visions and the things that I see, which is so far ahead in 9D, to people who are on 3D, this is even when you're dealing with love, where we say unconditional love, because to be unconditional means it's that it's, it's, it's not based on anything, it's limitless in every direction. And so when you're trying to communicate just what you see in terms of your vision from a nine-dimensional point of view, or what you hear from a nine-dimensional point of view, or what you feel from a nine-dimensional point of view, it's hard for people that are still vibrating or operating on a three-dimensional point of view to get what you're saying. So it's like you have to wait for them to elevate, come up, or you have to come down. And coming down doesn't feel right because it's like, as I said, coming from pure colour, the way you're seeing colours from a nine-dimensional point of view to come down to a three-dimensional point of view, which is like going back to black and white movies with no sound. Do you know what I mean? So the goal is to try and get you to move from 3D to 9D. And those who are on the 9D vibration, 9 mind, 9 ether, which is Wu Sabat, are in a totally different omniverse <laughs> than people that are just in their universe. I hope that makes it clear.